how can your neck make you feel dizzy? I did a post on this uh, just yesterday because like I said, it was the top post of 2018, so I just reposted it again uh, to start off 2019. Now there was a great summary article by Cheever et al. in 2016 that reviews this idea or all the evidence around this idea for why or how the neck can make a person feel dizzy. Now, we've already established that the neck is gonna get injured when there's a concussion. We already established the symptoms of the two things are gonna be the same. Now, if the neck is causing dizziness and you're able to treat that, that dizziness can go away. And we've done this extensively in my clinic, um, and it's profound because you can get dizziness relief within five minutes of treatment and the person is just completely switched from being dizzy to not being dizzy. Now the effects don't stay forever, you have to treat this a couple times, but it's quite effective. Now I'm just going to read the mechanism here, just kind of a summary that I that I made from Cheever's article uh, for you guys. So cervical somatosensory information is integrated with visual and vestibular inter information in the cerebellum. And now this, this affects postural and ocular motor regulation as well as gaze st stabilization. The neck also contributes to anticipatory ocular movements and postural adjustments during voluntary movement. Cervical afferents interact with the superior colliculi to produce the cervical ocular reflex and can supplement the vestibular ocular reflex to help stabilize gaze during head and neck movements. If this function is lost or impaired, the patient will feel dizzy. So this is the sensors in your neck, in the muscles and joints. They have Golgi tendon organs. They have muscle spindles that can tell you where you are in space. And if those are off because there's certain tightness in certain areas or there's damage or there's tearing or whatever, you can feel dizzy, dizziness because of the sensory information that's coming to your cerebellum. And it's not the same information that's coming from your eyes or your vestibular system. So the way to think about this is you have three systems working together to give you a sense of where you are in space. This is your vestibular function. You have your eyes, you have your vestibular nucleus, your, your inner ear, uh, semicircular canals, and you also have the spindles and proprioceptive mechanisms in the joints and tissues of your neck. If those three systems are all telling you the same information, like my head is level, my eyes are level, my ears are level, you're not gonna feel dizzy. But if one of those pieces of, of, of data that's coming at you is altered or impaired in some way, whether it be, let's say, your semicircular canals, you have BPPV, you have a crystal that's kind of dislodged itself, that signal that's coming from your, uh, from your ear is not the same as what's coming from your eyes and from your neck, and you're gonna feel this dizziness that goes. Now, if it's your neck that's off, the patients with cervicogenic dizziness and this is a lot of concussion patients, what you'll hear them say is, I don't necessarily feel dizzy, I just feel off. Like I just, they can't describe it, right? The room doesn't spin around them. They can't describe it, they just feel off. Like they feel like they're unsure of themselves, they feel unsure of their balance and all that stuff. This to me signals more of a cervicogenic component where your eyes are saying everything's level, your ears are saying everything's level, but your neck is telling you that your head is like this. Well. And for those that are just listening, I did a large rotation and lateral flexion to the, to the left side. So if that's the signal that's coming in through your cerebellum, your brain is just going to go, hold on a second. Who do I believe here? Do I believe the eyes? Do I believe the inner ears? Do I believe the joint receptors? And that split second of misinformation where there's an alteration, this mismatch, that's when you're, you, you go, whoa, hold on, and you grab onto something around you because you feel dizzy. This is the person that's driving and they feel fine, but then they shoulder check and they come back and they have this really quick wave of dizziness, right? This is, they rotated their neck. Now, is this a visual problem? Is this a neck problem? Is this a vestibular problem? That's what you have to figure out as a therapist, but the neck is involved in those two components.